Imagine you've got an intern helping you with content. You give them step-by-step -step instructions, they churn out a draft, and then wait for your next command. That's how most AI works today. Now imagine a producer instead. They brainstorm the topics, script the videos, schedule the posts, and even track the analytics while you sleep. That's agentic AI, not just answering prompts, but acting, planning, and executing like a teammate. According to a recent Morgan Stanley report, this technology alone could generate an annual net benefit of nearly $920 billion for S&P 500 companies by automating tasks in financial services, healthcare, and more. Stick around as I break down Agentic AI, what it is, how it runs, and the frameworks that make it tick. If you're still using old FANG prep guides, you're already losing ground. The rules have changed, and this free AI playbook shows you what's really being tested in modern FANG interviews, insider strategies, hidden evaluation matrix, a 90-day mastery plan, the exact playbook successful candidates are using right now. Everyone's grabbing it. Don't be the one left behind. Link in description. Before we begin, a quick introduction about myself. I am Dr. Suid. I am currently a director of physics-based machine learning at a climate tech startup here based here in Boston. I finished my PhD in mechanical engineering in 2018. Since then, I've been working at a variety of e-commerce, robotics, as well as big tech companies. Just before working at a startup, I was at TikTok leading their supply chain and logistics and e-commerce teams. At TikTok, I led multiple engineering teams which focused on evaluation and development and, and fine-tuning and development of state-of-the-art large language models. Before Dematic, as I mentioned, I was at a robotics company called Dematic. And before Dematic, I was at Staples as a lead researcher in their transportation optimization division. I have over 10 years of experience in delivering measurable results by deploying machine learning systems to solve complex business problems and I have been actively participating in continuously expanding AI education and democratizing AI-based services and AI knowledge by collaborating with local startups as well as attending industry conferences. I am a reviewer for multiple leading academic journals which focus on computational mathematical modeling in the energy sciences domain as well. So today we'll be talking about agentic AI and how you can use agentic AI to solve a particular business problem. So what is the vision associated with agentic AI? Typically agentic AI focuses on transforming rigid processes that can be automated using intelligent AI workflows. And we'll see what that exactly means. What we'll particularly explore in today's session is a low code framework called AI for agentic AI applications. I will specifically see how you can use this crew AI framework to research a particular topic of your interest and generate a research summary associated with this topic. And then we'll essentially see how you can build a live system or a live autonomous agent that can think, that can research, and that can execute actions based off of your tools, based off of your specific use case and your nuances that you are wanting that tool to abide by. Uh, so we'll see all of that in action and we'll see how agentic AI essentially separates, separates itself from non-agentic AI, which is just querying a large language model directly. So why should we be using agentic AI? Let's think about it. What would happen if we don't use agentic AI and just rely on traditional LEMs? So typically, traditional large language models focus on single interaction with minimal context. What that, what that specifically means is the following. Whenever you interact with ChatGPT, you are essentially relying on knowledge that is that the large language model has been trained with. It doesn't have any context that is specific to your use case. So whenever you give a particular query to the large language model, the responses associated with large language model are therefore only those responses which it can produce based off of the knowledge that it has learned. That essentially leads to, to, to lack of generalization ability and also in certain cases hallucinations as, as you may have experienced. Another issue with using only LLMs is that it has a limited persistence. By limited persistence what I mean is that typically LLMs don't retain all of their memory if you keep on interacting with them. Beyond a certain point, they they lose, they they forget your interactions with it. 
and you cannot give a purely large language based application doesn't have a tool access. Imagine you need a very specific task that needs to be done for your organization. Agentic AI allows you to build custom modular functions that you can essentially pass those functions to these agentic AI frameworks as a tool and ask that agentic AI framework to use this custom function that you have built for for answering a particular question that tremendously decreases hallucinations also so that's just traditional LLMs so agentic systems essentially enable autonomous planning and essentially because they have access to these tools and they have access to a large language model typically through an API they are essentially very powerful at combining the best of both worlds essentially and because they are also because you can pass these custom functions there's there's scope for agent existence to also have a certain memory so what i'm trying to say here essentially is that if if you combine the the ingenuity of just pure llms and give them tools and memory that can lead to tremendous value creation that would be like the true automation of a very complex workflow that you might have this would also enable continuous execution and mimic almost human-like problem solving. So typically, agentic AI represents a very fundamental shift from just using a large language model for direct inference to, to going, in, going in this paradigm shift direction of seeking an active goal-driven system that can operate independently. For example, if you are just using LLMs to generate a response based off of certain query, that is in a way a static interaction but imagine if you are using this question answering session with an llm to do a particular task maybe it's sending an email maybe it's scheduling an event on your calendar maybe it's writing a blog article if you are combining the response of the llm to do all of these tasks and you automate this on a periodic basis that is the that is the true value of agentic ai and that's how it's, it separates itself from just LLM interaction with, with LLMs. So I quickly wanted to point out some of the, the core base frameworks that people have used for agentic AI. The, a big advantage associated with core based frameworks is that all of these core based frameworks provide maximum flexibility and control for people who need to develop very specialized, very custom agents with, with highly specific capabilities. LangChain and LangGraph are some of the most popular code-based agentic AI frameworks. They typically require strong programming knowledge. They require a fairly deep understanding of not necessarily how LLMs are built, but at least a deep understanding of how LLMs function and what are their pitfalls. It requires a formal understanding of what prompt engineering is, and it also requires experience with software architecture and writing just good object-oriented code and how to orchestrate all of these things to deploy a production-ready application. So code-based frameworks are excellent if you have a very specialized task and if you require high amounts of flexibility. Some of the examples, as I mentioned on the previous slide also, of all code-based frameworks is LangGraph. So LangGraph essentially provides a very minute control over your applications. LangGraph requires you to essentially build your own graph with nodes and edges. What I mean by building a graph which has its own nodes and edges is that given a particular task, if the task has a, a action associated with it, based on a certain result it takes action a versus action b you would have to embed all of this information in in the form of a graph so building agents using LangGraph involves defining all of these states on what different actions your task requires creating all of these nodes associated for this action and then essentially connecting all of these actions with some other actions which are dependent on this previous action and all of these things require a like complex algorithmic logic and, and a relatively verbose coding and coding structure. So, so this requires cycling through some of the reasoning steps using multiple different tools and also incorporating human feedback. Some of this is also required in low code based framework like QAI that we'll see today, but the extent to which abstracts away all of this graph construction tool calls 
access to multiple different APIs is is much more in in low code based frameworks. This is much more abstract than something like Langlass. So we I, I mentioned about all code frameworks, which was Langlass. On the other side of the spectrum are no code frameworks, which some of the examples are Zapier and it n and 8n what they essentially do is they enable you to have an option of dragging and dropping certain components into your agentic workflow diagram for example something like init n will have a a schedule trigger which essentially does something every time a particular at a particular time in the day let's say it goes and runs a program based on the output of that program it essentially passes through an if-else logic and does something based off of the if-else logic. Similarly, Zapier is another one of these here no-code frameworks where you can essentially drag and drop these multiple components onto your onto your agentic AI framework. And what one of the key benefits of no-code frameworks is that they provide pre-built integrations and they connect to hundreds of APIs like Google and LinkedIn and Spotify and you can connect multiple databases that you may have to all of these API and as I, as I mentioned because you have these this drag and drop ability there's no need for you to write verbose code that you saw like pre saw previously in in Langlath for example and so this empowers non-developers to without without much coding experience to essentially create complex multi-step business processes but in in this particular application in no code frameworks you do lose a little bit of flexibility that you may have in in all code based frameworks like langlath so a a intermediate solution without really relying on completely code based framework or completely no code framework is something what they call low code frameworks low code frameworks afford you the flexibility a little bit of flexibility associate associated with all code frameworks but at the same time they abstract away some of the boilerplate verbose code that you may have to write in in all code based frameworks frameworks so today we are going to look at an example of low code based framework specifically we'll be looking at crew ai we'll create an agentic framework to solve a research task and create a blog which can be posted to a social media channel and we'll do all of this using using crew ai so crew ai essentially is a very powerful agentic ai framework where multiple different ai agents work together to accomplish a series of tasks and eventually to accomplish one complex task and in this presentation we'll explore some of those concepts We'll see how to set up AI and we'll see how you can generate fairly robust applications using using Crew AI. So essentially the problem, as I mentioned previously, of using LLMs directly or LLM API directly is that is that you don't get access to tools or access to your nuanced requirements using just a question answering ability of LLMs. Uh, so LLMs typically execute and run on a fixed logic. They are not they are not fine tuned to your application. Typically LLMs also cannot adapt to changing conditions or to new data that might come in. You will have to manually update if new data comes in, you will have to make the LLM aware either through a prompt or through something else that this new data needs to be taken into consideration. And as a result of all of these things, it has limited output capability because it doesn't generate insights. You will have to manually intervene and, and update all of its information for you to truly be able to generate insights based on the latest information. So, so those are some of the limitations with using LLMs in a legacy style. Modern requirements essentially need you to move away from fixed logic and take this dynamic logic based on new requirements that come in every day. Modern requirements need you to adapt to new changes or new data, as I mentioned previously. You would ideally want to keep human inter intervention at a minimum and you would ideally want to generate output that reflects latest data without any human inter intervention and be able to provide business value. And that is something that is quite directly addressed with low-code agentic AI frameworks or any agentic AI frameworks for that matter. 
So typically with HNTK AI frameworks, you are able to able to generate dynamic content content based on the latest information because Agentic AI essentially combines LLMs with the use of tools. Tools are a, a critical concept in Agentic AI. And tools can be anything. It could be like Google API for internet search, weather app for checking the weather, the live weather that is, or your own custom tool that you have developed. And because of this, agentic AI solutions enable intelligent decision making. The need for human intervention is a little bit less because you have provided LLMs with specific tools that the LLM can use. And as a result, you are able to generate rich human readable outputs and provide actual business value. Some of the real world use cases of agentic AI are as follows. As I mentioned previously, agentic AI combines LLMs and gives them tools such that they can access live information with those tools and convert the results of those tools into human readable insights. And as you can imagine, because of that, there can be a variety of use cases. Some of the popular ones I mentioned here are in financial services. You can use agentic AI for automated reporting, risk analysis for of financial summaries, market analysis, trend reporting, and so on. Similarly, in healthcare, you can imagine agentic AI tools can generate patient summaries, do research, check for compliance based on the documentation, and also generate operational efficiency reports based on some other proprietary, proprietary data that you may give these agents access to. For manufacturing systems, similarly, you can write production summaries, like do supply chain analysis and recommendation. Again, again, similar to financial services, do performance optimization for your specific manufacturing task, provided you give it the specific tools associated with manufacturing. If you like this video, you will love what I have to say next. The 14-week Agentic AI program at Interview Kickstart helps engineers build real career-ready skills. You'll work on two live projects with FANG instructors and leave with portfolio work that actually makes a difference in hiring. Over 20,000 tech professionals have already trained with Interview Kickstart, with many moving into roles paying $300,000 plus. Want to learn more? Join the free upcoming webinar, ask questions, meet the instructors, and see if it's a fit. Not ready yet? No problem. Start with the AI agent building videos here on the YouTube channel. We recommend this one. Either way, the key is to just get started.